Hey everyone, Bill Parrish here from GTT Audio, and welcome to the channel today. So the last couple of months, last or last month, last couple of episodes, I've been teasing you that we're going to have some interviews and some special guests join us. Well, today it's going to come true. So let's bring him on the stage, the first guest. And here he is, everyone, Peter Bruniger of AV Showrooms, the godfather of high-end audio marketing. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bill. <laughs> well, high-end audio video marketing. Yes, it's the video. And that's what we want to talk about today. And that's what and we'll talk about. We're here on a YouTube video. You've built a whole business mm -hmm. on YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. You've done it in a completely different way mm -hmm. than other people are out there doing it. Uh, you, you are a reviewer. You, you review, you've been a, a writing reviewer in the past for top journals mm -hmm. I mean you were with the absolute sound for a long time and uh, mm -hmm. but but you what uh, well, how did this start yeah how yeah. did that yeah. start how did you leave the absolute sound and or I but yeah that was your gig right before this correct right before it yeah I started so, reviewing with the absolute sound when it was a small format magazine uh, back in 1989 and uh, I was Harry's go-to guy for cutting-edge gear, so I did the single-ended uh, reviews. I did mm. all the, the interesting stuff. I really had a, like a, a nose for that. But what happened with AV showrooms was pretty straightforward. I was covering uh, uh, Expona, the second Expona audio show up in New York City, and I just had a cycling injury. Uh, I was a competitive cyclist. I had a cane. I had a yellow pad. And part of what we do when we cover shows, we have to write down what's in the room. We can't just remember everything from every room. So you have to write it somewhere. And that was, you know, 2011. Uh, we didn't have, the phones weren't as smart as they are today. So you don't have, you know, no Android technology to make notes on and stuff. So it, that yellow pad is really your life. Well, I got to the top of the steps of the hotel and I knew I wasn't going to be able to do that. I was not going to be able to hold the cane, get the yellow pad out, do the work. So... I cheated. I reached into my top pocket where I had my little Canon point and shoot, which shoots video too, and I hit the red button. And I knew I was onto something. People started talking. Oh, the absolute sounds here, but I, they're, they're shooting video. And I walked into the Legacy Audio Room, and it was filled. And so, you know, I try to be courteous and, you know, not move people out. And, <laughs> I mean, people, you know, you don't know who's sitting in the money seat. So you want to be very careful about sure. that, very respectful of, uh, of when there's an, uh, uh, an exhibit and there's people listening. So I walked down the hall. Well, Bill Doddleson from Legacy was actually running after me. He ran after me. He said, Peter, Peter, can, I do, can you do our room? Can you, are you going to, I hear you're shooting videos. Can you video our room? And I, of course I did. And, uh. We posted up the videos. I shot, I think it was six to ten videos. Posted it up on the uh, Absolute Sounds, uh, the Perfect, uh, what was that? Yeah, it was their sister magazine. Their sister magazine. The Perfect Vision. Yeah, the Perfect Vision uh, electronic magazine. And I uh, thought, well, this is going to be a very interesting thing. I wonder how this is going to play out. So I thought, well, you know, I'll still do another audio show. So I went to Top Audio that year, and I shot the Milan show. And I shot about 100 gig of video. So instead of like six or eight videos, I shot like 60 videos and uh, came back and Absolute Sound really wasn't super interested in the videos. They're, they're a print magazine. I understand that. And uh, when push came to shove, I said, well, what's, what are we going to do with the videos? You, you don't want them? No, Peter, I think we're going to take a pass in the videos. I said, so I thought to myself, well, that's a hundred gig of video. I'm going to do it myself. So I got uh, the URL AV showrooms uh, and uh, taught myself how to video edit. And uh, pretty much the rest is history. Uh, really got uh, a, a good idea was the following year at the Capital Audio Fest I was filming and I came into a room I think and I had dinner with you that I year think... and you were telling me the concept yeah, and, yeah. and we were sitting with with Yoav Gava and YG Acoustics that's right yeah yeah, 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 yeah we had dinner and yeah, yeah and uh, yeah that was that was cool yeah and, and I, I realized that at that at that show that quantity is very important if I'm going to establish my channel and what I do as a reviewer, I need to have a lot of video. I need to have, I have to also, I have to keyframe on the title of the video, the people who are exhibiting in the room, so that it's searchable. There's many video audio companies that if you type it into Google, only our videos come up. That's because I've, I thought. 
This is not only about shooting the video, it's about search. Yeah. I quickly realized that, you, that YouTube gives, uh, excuse me, that Google gives preference to the YouTube videos in search. So whenever you search for something, for example, um, t uh, you used to, you just, just type in Mola Mole and go see what happens. And you'll see, yeah, odds there, are, there's going to be some YouTube videos. There's going to be YouTube up. at the yeah. top of the page. So, well, it is interesting that Google owns YouTube as well. well <laughs> they're not stupid. So they're going to push their own. Channel. They're going to push. Yeah. yeah, they're going to push their own product. And so, effectively, I, I mean, it was just, you know, I just do what I used to do for the print magazines, but I do it in video. So when I would write a review for the Absolute Sound. I would introduce the product in the beginning. I would talk about the specifications of the product. Yeah. Uh, then I would listen to, you know, or, or say, I describe my listening sessions, and then I do a wrap. And then so the wrap is the conclusion of the review. That's how the videos are structured. So the beginning of the most of the videos is about the components. Uh, the uh, if it's an amplifier, what's its watts per channel? What's the topology of the amplifier? And now with video, now I can actually have you listen to the system that I'm listening to too. So that yeah. is that was groundbreaking. And then at the end, I got, I'll get up in front of the camera and or behind the camera and I'll evaluate what I heard. I got some feedback early on. Uh, I had shot video and posted it. I was at the Capitol Audio Fest and a fellow I had shot video for for the prior show called me on the phone and he said, Peter, I just you just posted that video uh, of, of my exhibit room and you didn't tell the audience what you thought of the system. He said, please, next time, make sure you do that. Well, I did that. <laughs> Always done that. Never made that mistake again. So that what you get when you watch an AV Showroom's video is you get, it's really a, it's like you're alongside me at the show. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah, for the at the show where you you take everyone for a ride. Along. Yep, yep, taking everybody yeah, for a ride. It's, it's, it's quite cool. Yeah, I mean, there's you've you've kind of you've got like three different niches uh, in AV showrooms as I see it through the um, and I love the name. I mean, because that's what it is. It's audio video showrooms mm -hmm. in your home, mm -hmm. and you bring and you bring the showroom to their home right there. That's their exactly. System, their, so exactly. you've got the. The shows you do the shows the you know the exhibit room thing and then then you do um, you do reviews I do and, re then, and then company like, tours company what, what tours. we're doing here what today. we're doing here today what we're yeah, doing do here company tours. here today like if you get up on our on abshowrooms.com you'll see a section called uh, showcases and company tours and you'll see the GTT company tour it's very prominent right up there on our home page and so you click on it and then we have a series of videos all different rooms here at GTT Audio. There's numerous rooms here. And it's very interesting. I love shooting the videos here because I'm always learning something new. There's new products. Yep. And uh, I and we get to hear the systems. Like last year, we shot the Clips Room. That's right. And that little, that Clips, that was a Cornwall 2, if I'm not mistaken. Was that Cornwall 4. Cornwall 4, excuse yep. me. Uh, that Cornwall 4, that sounded utterly spectacular. Well, the video, it sounds utterly spectacular because I'll put that on with my earbuds or my headphones or I'll stream it over to my system and it's just like I'm here. It's a sound exactly like I'm here at GTT. I use uh, Sony Dual Omni microphones. Uh, they're flat down to 20 hertz. So you've got the two uh, Omni Omnis, race yeah. Omnis. Um, it picks up a lot of room, uh, wall information, and the speakers, so it's just like your ears are here. I tried doing the binaural, mm -hmm. and that just didn't work for me. I had some very high-end binaurals, and one of uh, one I, I did tested two of them. The one actually fit around your ear, and the microphones would just come out like that. And uh, I, t I went I did an A B back and forth between that and the Sony mics, and I preferred the Sony mics. So we like to use a microphone too that fits on top of the camera, and it's powered by the camera itself. Because we're doing a lot of location shoots, and we don't have the ability to drag lights behind us uh, on a location shoot. We, uh, when we're, for example, we're at the Munich show, we're pretty much just walking around on foot, and I got a handheld camera, and I'm just kind of aiming it around like you, like you guys are with me, and you're seeing exactly what my eyes are seeing. Uh, so you want it to be lightweight, and that's well, what, luckily, we could do now with this new technology. Yeah, yeah we're using Sony 4K cameras, and uh, uh, heck. 
Well, I think what you're doing is something that's completely different than what others are doing as yep. well. There's other, you know, reviewers that have turned videographers or YouTubers. Mm -hmm. Darko mm -hmm. uh, does a fantastic job. He does a good job. Uh, Steve Goodenberg is very audio, popular. The audiophiliac, yeah. Yeah. he yeah. gets a ton of views. Mm -hmm. But they're doing more reviewing products. And now uh, Greg Weaver, the audio analyst, has released his channel, and he's doing a, a, a different mix of some music, how-to type of stuff, and, and reviews. But mm -hmm. I, I think you, at this point, are the only one that's bringing the showrooms to, into the uh, into our customers. And yeah. that's why I call it marketing. You're the godfather of video marketing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for high-end audio mm -hmm, because, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're just doing the reviews mm -hmm. and, and they're asking for donations. I mean, you've got a business. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're not doing this for your health. You're no, not no, 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 this, the, no. No, by all means, this is a business. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's and the business model is very simple. Uh, we have a small monthly uh, fee. We then put on the video, in the description of the video, links over to, say, Bill's site. And right, I pay you a monthly, yeah, monthly fee, fee for, for for the the uh, for the showrooms, mm -hmm, tours, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and the videos that mm -hmm. you have there. But if if you choose to do a review of any of my products, that's an objective review, just oh, like it's all, it's all just, just just like the print magazines or the e-zines, yep. where we do a banner or a full page ad, and then if they choose to do a review, they do a review. Mm -hmm. So the reviews are completely, we don't pay for reviews. No, 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 we, we, we're, it's not pay for play. It's a, it's a subscription model so that you can click through because a lot of times when you're watching a YouTube video, I'll go down to the comments section of the video while it's playing, because especially if it's a narrative video. And then I'll see, oh, uh, this guy liked it, this guy didn't like it, or there's a question about the product, or uh, if it's a, you know, an automobile review, there'll be more people saying, oh, I have that uh, same uh, Mercedes model. So I'm always down uh, into the lower part of the YouTube screen, and that's a very valuable uh, property. We own 5,000 characters there uh, as the owner of the channel, and so we use that to your advantage. And then that's how you know, it sustains us and how we get to go to the shows. But every video is totally objectively shot. Uh, if you want a video shot and then one, if there's a, let's say, a new, new guy, uh, mm -hmm. we go to Munich, I'm a speaker I've never seen before, we'll shoot them for a, a year or two. And uh, then we'll approach them and say, here's our model. Uh, would you like to have the description, uh, your links on our video? And then they... I think I'm smart though. I want them to get the feedback back first. Yes. So the you know the new speaker manufacturer, he will be getting phone calls and inquiries from people who have searched his his, uh, his speaker because of Google YouTube relationship, and then Terry or myself will approach him and say, hey, you know, I'd like to sponsor your videos, and uh, I say we have about an eighty percent success rate. In well, yeah. you know, I'm uh, I'm delivering a Kronos uh, turntable tomorrow mm -hmm. to a fellow who um, he was turned on to this by Peter Berniger. We've done and, that with a lot yeah, of people. And, yep. You know, yep. I mean, it was Kronos so it was that, and then he got to know me, and he's bought his entire system from me. And by the way, uh, you know, this is his first system. No kidding. And, We've uh, had a lot of that. We're putting a Kronos Pro in there, and he's got AudioNet in there. He's got Mola Mola. He's got Kabbalah Sauce, and he's got YG, and now Kronos is going in tomorrow. So Jeff, big shout out to you. Hey, there you go. <laughs> and then, uh, and then there we just had today an, hey, audio, <laughs> an audio net what uh, get picked up from Audio Net in Berlin mm -hmm. that is going to a client in in Ohio based on uh, mine and Peter Berniger's uh, YouTube channels. Well, so well, you know, Russ, big shout out <laughs> to you. <laughs> what I'm particularly proud of, Bill is the new people that we brought into High End Audio. That's Every right. show we go to, me and Terry, we get stopped and people want to have selfies with me. And I've had, a, a, I would say, hundreds of people tell me that they discovered High End Audio because of me, because of the, our YouTube channel and it gets surfed up because what YouTube does, what, yes, you know everyone, as you're watching a video on a Mercedes-Benz, the new E-Class, there's a bunch of Mercedes E-Class reviews that have been surfed up. Well, that's what happens with us. So if someone's watching something, uh, uh, I put in key terms in the back end of the YouTube, each, uh, each YouTube video, Mercedes uh, or BMW AMG, 
-hmm. you know, Mercedes S Class. Uh, so when YouTube begins to serve up our videos, they're serving it up to a predetermined audience of guys who like toys. And so that video gets served up, and then the guy may have never seen a high-end audio video or heard of it before. He's now watching it for the first time, and he's, and he's, he's got the hook. He's got, he's, it's, 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 yeah, it's, really it's compelling. Cool. It's really, it's really cool. cool because when you click on like a show report video, I mean, I even watch them myself down on our, my home theater system. It's just fun to sit back and watch them, have a beer and sit down and watch them. And one guy told me uh, at, at one of the shows, he said, he has parties, AV showrooms parties when the videos get released and he invites his buddies over and they all drink and have fun and he said two of his buddies bought high-end audio systems because of the videos and he right? said he did too because of having one of our videos served up so it's a it's it sustains itself it, it, it it's a growth thing and it, it and it's a it's just a it's, it's a wonderful thing to do I'm just I'm very proud of that part of it, it, it bringing the new people in I think that's just a, a, a great accomplishment well that's fantastic yeah. thank yep. you Peter yep. Thanks. I'm, I'm glad you're here I'm glad you participated in this and hopefully uh, you know people can get to know you a little better here than yeah. always being the guy and the voice behind that camera at the shows thanks Bill you know you're I mean and yeah they see you in the videos but yeah. here you're a real guy you're not out touting a piece or doing a review and it's a very informal sit down mm -hmm. uh interview and uh, thank you it's cool well you're welcome it's great to uh, it's great to be here today and uh, i really love again uh, coming up to gtt because there's so much to so many toys it's well thank wonderful. you thanks buddy thank you yep okay remember to like share comment below and by all means subscribe and we'll see you in two weeks